Hey everybody, and uh, welcome back to another exciting episode of 52 Week Movie Challenge. I'm your host, Jonathan Moody, and I've got an awesome, awesome episode for you guys. We are going to be talking about a movie that's about a famous person. So, of course, I picked, as you can read here, Steve Jobs. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Um, movie title is Steve Jobs. Uh, the year released was 2015. My date challenge completed was 11 22 22. Sounds nice. Uh, aspect ratio is 239 1. Um, running time is two hours and two minutes. Uh, genre is drama slash biopic. Uh, rated R. Uh, starring Michael Fassbender, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Seth Rogen, and Jeff Daniels, among many others. Uh, directed by Danny Boyle, produced by Danny Boyle, Scott Rudin, and Mark Gordon. Uh, written by Aaron Sorkin, music by Daniel Pemberton. Awards received was winner a winner of BAFTA Award for Kate Winslet, uh, an Austin film. Uh, Critics Association Best Actor for Michael Fassbender. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, what did you, why did I choose this particular film? Because I was interested in learning more about Steve Jobs. Uh, have you seen this movie before? Nope. Uh, would I? Would you recommend this film? Why or why not? Yes, I would, especially if you're. Want to know what personally happened uh, to Steve? Um, uh, which character? My my least favorite question on here. Which character were you most able to identify with or connect with in what way? I said no one really. I mean, all the characters were great. Maybe Andy Hertzberger because he was uh, her Hertzfeld. Sorry, Hertzfeld. Maybe Andy Hertzfield because he was uh, uh, just a really good guy um, who cared. I mean, I don't know. Am I a really good guy that cares? I don't fucking know. I don't know. Um, it's really hard to say these things. I want to be like, oh, I'm like Steve Jobs. I'm nothing like Steve Jobs. I'm nothing like Steve, you know, um, Woz, you know, Wozniak. Um, I'm nothing like any of the guys in here. Like, I'm nothing like them. They're, they're, all of them are wonderful, talented geniuses. And uh, that's just not who I am, which I don't mind, you know. But it's just uh, computers was never my thing. But we'll get into that. Uh, best line or memorable quote. Uh, we're not the uh, pit crew at Daytona. This can't be fixed in seconds. Then... Uh, then Steve Jobs says, you didn't have seconds, you had three weeks. The universe was created at one-third of that time. And then um, Andy Hertzfield says, uh, well, uh, someday you'll have to tell us how you did it. Which I think is funny. Saying he thinks he's got, the guy thinks he's got. Uh, were you surprised by the ending? What would you have done differently? I wasn't surprised and I wasn't sure what to expect. Uh, just wouldn't change a thing. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, what is something new you learned about this person? I learned more about his relationship with his daughter. Or his non-relationship with his daughter, I should say. Um, or, or at times, but like his kind of messed up relationship with his daughter. We'll get into that. Uh, does film change your view on this person? If so, how? Not really. I, I didn't have a view to begin with, and... Uh, his character kind of evolved, so it was nice. Um, now go watch this on Netflix. Because it doesn't have, at the end of it, didn't have a thing saying, uh, um, usually says anything else you'd like to add. doesn't even have that because it asked a bunch of questions. So anyway, um, let's get into this. Steve Jobs, let me... Steve motherfucking Jobs. Um, so first of all, I knew nothing. Like I said, I knew nothing about Steve Jobs. 
I uh I knew he worked for Apple. I don't you know, I still don't know like all the details. I know there was some said in it in the movie and there was a there's a couple of little things and I would like to go down a oh a little rabbit hole at some point of learning who he was and kind of cuz I use uh, this right here. I can't see it, but sort of see it. That's my laptop. And it is a um a thin uh, iMac uh, or Mac Mac MacBook Pro, like a thin one. Um, I love I, I, my family has been into Apple since you know before now. I mean, they also use Dell, they use uh, Windows, and everything. But like they were into Apple's in the beginning, and we all all our fa like almost everybody in our family has iPhones. I mean, we're into this stuff, you know. Um, and they really didn't go into that much detail of like the future of what happened with uh, Apple, but we'll get into it. So the, the story goes of this is that it's three different time periods in um, Steve Jobs' life. One part where he basically had a blood test to prove if he was... Uh, Related to the daughter Lisa, they get into they in the beginning they get into fights. A lot of shit happens with Lisa, and um, Lisa is just one bit of his of his thing. But like a lot of it is, you know, his ego. His ego sort of got in the way of a lot of things, and uh, and he comes to sort of realize this at the end. Once again, I don't know what is true, what's not true. I'm just talking about what's in the movie. I don't know if any of this is true. In fact, I wonder if it's might 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 not be true, and that's fine with me. Um, if it not a lot of it's true, because it's still a damn good movie. Um, so it was funny because this was one of the movies I wanted to do, or I was going to do a movie I've seen a million times, but I want to see it again, which was a Social Network, and starring you know uh, starring Jesse Eisenberg as Mark Zuckerberg. Also written by um, uh, by by Aaron Sorkin, so Aaron Sorkin loves to do these like kind of really good biopics about these business people. Um, I I really enjoyed the script, I enjoyed the writing, but like the idea was like you kind of see these three different time periods in his life, and then you see how he kind of evolves as a person and sort of his relationship with his daughter. Um, and his daughter, Lisa, um, and there's just a lot of, I don't want to spoil anything that might be very helpful for you if you want to watch the movie. Um, but I will say, if you haven't seen the movie, it's on Netflix. It's pretty damn good. I would totally recommend it. Um, but that's, you know, you gotta, that, that's something that you gotta decide whether or not you want to watch that or not. Um, but personally, I, I would, I would definitely watch it. It's a, it's a fun little movie. Um, I liked Michael Fassbender, but at first I hated his, I, I, I didn't like him. He came off cocky, he came off, um, as an asshole. He was mean. I mean, there was things he was saying to his, I, I I'm guessing ex-girlfriend or whatever, um, uh, that I just I thought was just rude and nasty. And I didn't like him, and then he, because he's Michael Fassbender, great actor. He just sort of turned Steve around on me. I was like, oh man, he did like a one eighty, and all of a sudden he's this really nice, sweet guy to his daughter, and he's doing things for her because she showed him a picture on the um, uh, paint on Mac Paint, um. So I thought that was amazing. Um, I thought it was just cute. It was a cute little scene and stuff. Um, but the movie itself was pretty brutal. Of the like, you get to see sort of what it takes for somebody to to be fired from a big company like that, especially somebody who has this enormous ego about himself and thinks like he basically is the you know if it weren't for me, your company and Sort of that is sort of what happens in the movie is it, it, Max sort of gets hit pretty bad because they don't have him. 
And there's even a line in the movie with Jeff Daniels saying, if we, if we had had you, you know, we could have, what, what great things we could have done. Um, and so you could have done together. And so it was, it was pretty interesting. I really liked it. Like I had a fun time. Um, Seth Rogen uh, is one of those actors that I just, you know, when I see him do really like, it's kind of like Adam Sandler to me. When I see him do drama, you know, I'm taken back by it. I'm like, wow, this, this guy's really freaking good. Um, and he did a great job. Like he held his own with Michael Fassbender and both those guys are just, they're those guys in that moment. You can sort of get that and feel that way. So I, I really enjoyed it. It's, it's up there. It, um, it probably would never be like Criterion or something, especially since it's like universal, but it sort of, it, it, I would say this is this is really up there with a lot of the Criterion kind of films, you know. Like I just really enjoyed it. Um, it's a movie I'd watch again, probably to just let things sink in that probably didn't sink in the last time. Because uh, whenever you watch certain movies, you can sort of the next time you watch it, you get something different. So I totally recommend this movie. Um. I'm also going to watch Jobs at some point, which is the other Steve Jobs movie that stars Ashton Kutcher and Josh Gad. I'm not, I I like those two guys, but I just, I don't see them in a drama very well. Like, I, I feel like this is going to, it's, but then again, I didn't really, like, for the longest time, I didn't see Seth Rogen in a drama. Josh Gad is just so silly at times. I'm like, I don't know if I can by him as you know whatever like serious but then again I thought that for the longest time with Jonah Hill and Jonah Hill does amazing work when he does drama so just leave them guys up there to do it um yeah I Kate Winslet oh man she was the she was a tour de force in that she was the glue holding everything together and I mean at times you could see her character just wanted to just quit or something because she just couldn't handle the pressure and everything, but she kept doing it for 19 years. And we find out she was like in love with him. And I don't know if they ever got married or nothing. I don't, I'm, I'm guessing no. Um, uh, let's see. Steve jobs. Let's see if he ever got married to, um, no, it's interesting. He was married to a girl named Lorene Powell um, Jobs, which they never talk about, I don't think. I know in the other Steve Jobs movie they did, um, but I don't know if they did in this one or not. Did they have her? Because I don't remember her being in this movie at all. No. Weird. Um, I guess they just didn't want to talk about that, but that was weird. So, I'm interested in seeing the other jobs. I think the things that aren't in this one will be in that one, because I think this one is more so the personal relationships between a lot of the characters, and that one's more about like his biopic of what he did and what happened. So, anyway, I picked this one because, once again, bigger cast, um, I think also the uh was it the the um the one with um Ashton Kutcher was yeah you know, it was directed by a guy I've never heard of she Joshua Michael Stern who as far as I can tell has never done anything else that big uh he did a movie called Swing Vote so I'm guessing he does a lot of more political stuff. You wrote Amityville Dollhouse. Awesome. Uh, I don't know if that's something to be proud of or not. But uh, once again, you know, it's no, you know, the people who made this weren't the people who made Steve Jobs. And Steve Jobs was a much, much better 
film probably is going to be my guess. I have to watch it. I'll have to find out. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm more. I don't know. I I liked it. I thought it was really good. And I think if you're a fan of Michael Fassbender, Seth Rogen, all those guys, and Kate Winslet, I mean, you know, how could you not like Rose? You know, you'll you'll probably like this movie. Um, so with that being said, that's that's my four and a half star rating of the movie. We're gonna talk about what's next for next week. So this week was week forty seven. Next week is week 48. So, one, two, three, four, five. We got five more weeks. Wait, five. Five more weeks. Five more weeks, and then it's the end of the year. Ugh. All right. Well, we got five more weeks to go. And um, the next one is set in a country you want to visit. So I have an idea where I want to visit. So we'll, uh, I'll have to find a really good movie that works for that. Um, I think I have an idea, but I don't know where I can find it. So uh, with that being said, I want to thank you guys so much. Uh, I really appreciate you guys being on the show uh, or being on the sh- coming to the show, checking this out. I don't know. I'm tired. It's um, this one was done later than normal. Uh, just because I'm got a million things I'm doing, got a million things I'm doing, so I'm tired. I'm ready for bed. I'm gonna be editing this and and putting it up and getting it ready before bed tonight. So I want to appreciate. I want to say I'm appreciative of everything you guys do, and check out uh next week's uh one where I'm set in a country that I'd like to visit. So all right, until then, everybody, bye.